You know what I love about wintertime in Indiana? Sometimes it's 60, it's degrees. 60 degrees. Yay! Truck! Furniture's here! <laughs> Furniture is here at Olive, which is super exciting, obviously. I think you go this way. This house is in the heart of Fountain Square, which has a lot of like artistic uh, history to it. So I think we wanted to do something with a lot of personality that that kind of buyer pool would appreciate. So mom has coined this house Bohemian Elegant. Uh, that's what we're going with. And lots of fun colors like pinks and greens. Yeah, that's cute. So this is a really big house with four bedrooms and we want to be able to show buyers uh, the potential of what all the different spaces could be. So we're setting up one of the upstairs bedrooms kind of as like an artist studio uh, workspace. And we're gonna have some brokers come through, check it out, give us some feedback, and see what they think about the house and our list price of $475,000. They're gonna say there's nothing better than a pink and green house in Fountain Square. Stone throw from the fountain. Sell it for a half million. Well, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> We're at our house on Olive and we're super excited because we're having a bunch of brokers walk through, give us some feedback, and hopefully tell us if the price point is reasonable. Good morning. Good Hi, morning. How are you? Wow. This is gorgeous. I love the street appeal. I love it. I love it. The house was like this grayish. You couldn't really tell sure. if it was dirty or if it was gray or yeah. beige. I don't know. Fountain Square, you can get away with a you lot older can. color than I think you can a lot of other you areas. Can. I think it works. You want to go inside? Let's see it. Okay. Can't wait. Oh, wow. I didn't think it went back that far. This is tremendous. I'm Karen. I'm Shanda. Shanda, nice to meet you. Guys. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Hi. Nice to see you. When we bought this house, there were three rooms here. And we took down all the interior walls so we would have this great open space. Obviously, we have very strong stylistic choices with the paint, with the interior. Uh, you did not go neutral on the staging. The outside's supposed yeah. to give you yeah. an idea of the inside. The Fountain Square vibe, perfect. I like it, I think it's kind of eclectic. But you pull all this out and you could make it look country if you wanted or ultra modern. <laughs> Once you see it with the outside of the house and the neighborhood, it works really well. Well good, I'm glad we pulled it off then. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. Awesome. So we opened this up a lot. It was just Ooh, a like doorway into the kitchen. What was over there before was a enclosed staircase that went to the second floor. So even though this was already a good sized kitchen, we needed the staircase to be inside. So we just opened it all up. No, I think you nailed the kitchen. I mean, kitchens sell houses. Yeah, I love the tall ceiling, too. This is the part of the kitchen you see when you walk in the front door, so we wanted to make it an accent. We took so long looking at colors. And I think it works, especially for that space, just to have the glass there, but not all the way through. Right, because it would be too much, yep, right? absolutely. The white and blue knobs fit. You really embraced the look that you had going with the glass and the knobs and took it all the way through the house. We can go back up to the front and check out the first floor master suite. Master on the first floor, excellent. Yeah. Wow, this is spacious up here. Yeah. The bathroom was a second bedroom, so we ate up that bedroom and turned it into an ensuite and a walk-in closet. Oh, wow. Double vanities, oh, yeah. a nice big oh, shower. Nice in here. That's a great size. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. I love all your mix of textures, too. This Look is at gorgeous. this. All right, next space. We've got a nice big coat closet, yeah, half absolutely. bath, and then a laundry room. Oh, my gosh. 
That's a huge selling feature too. We never see that. So the staircase was originally behind this wall and you could only access it from outside. So we opened this up so we were able to bring the staircase access to the interior portion of the house. So we did widen the staircase a yeah. bunch and we were able to get the second living area up here. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, this is really good. This does uh, what you needed to do with this space. Very functional. It looks great. So we've got the full bath up here that's going to be Excellent. shared by these three bedrooms. Oh, wow. This is great. It's definitely a little tricky with the angle. Mm -hmm where we were able to fit the tub in. But I, I also kind of like the charm it gives to it. It, it makes does. it feel a little more quaint. All right, let's check out the first room. Great. So we've got three rooms up here. So there's plenty of space for kids or guests. So we set one of them up more as a crafting art office space. You really went all out, too. Fourth bedroom is icing on the cake. All right, next space. Ooh, this Come on pretty. in. Ooh. So this is one of the two bedrooms we have up here. With the furniture in here, the kind of odd roof lines mm -hmm. aren't the thing that you notice in the room anymore. Yeah. What give do you mean by odd? These are beautiful. They give it flavor. You can be odd and beautiful. Oh, OK. <laughs> we do have more, so we're going to go check out Let's the yard space. Oh my gosh. So this I didn't know this was even back here. <laughs> it's a nice little surprise. So you've got a dining space right off the kitchen. And then oh, back wow. here. I love this. Yeah, you this don't really think beautiful. this would be back here, right? No. Right. But the way you guys maximize this space, I think works well. <laughs> How are you feeling about price point? Mom's going for half a mil. She's aiming high. I'm not, I don't blame her for that. It's a great house. I just think that that 500 number creates such a big hurdle. You can look anywhere between kind of the 470, 480, 485 range. I have many buyers in this price range and our inventory isn't high, especially at this quality. That makes me so happy. Yeah, yeah you exactly. You see the smile on my face? <laughs> all in all, I think the house was a really good investment because we're definitely gonna come out on top with this one. We bought it for 125,000. We spent about 200,000 on the renovation. So we have about $325,000 in it. We're gonna list it for $475,000. So after closing costs and fees, we're looking at a profit of around $140,000, which would be our biggest profit to date. It will definitely sell. I just hope it sells quickly so a new family can love it as much as we do. So it was a much bigger financial risk for us in the beginning, but it potentially has a much bigger payoff than most of our properties.